Hello everyone, this is Luna back for another reaction video, another My Hero Eternity reaction video. Um, thank you for all the support on the last one. Um, I love to ramble, so it's great to know that people like hearing me ramble because you guys get to hear me ramble and I get to, well, ramble. So, we're back. We're here for, um, actually, not for the villain POV. First, we're going to be watching the hero POV because our lord and savior Devin has uploaded today. So, we're watching first episode one of the hero POV, which honestly I'm really excited to see because we got a taste of them in um, Richie's first episode, the first villain POV up. So, I'm really excited to see to see to see what's up with the heroes. Um, so I'm just gonna cut the talking and I'm gonna get into this. I've been waiting all day to watch this because, because I've been so busy today, you know, so, so I'm, I, I'm really excited to watch this. Um, I've had to wait till I got home, so. Okay, okay, Devin. Okay, cinematic shots first. Okay, Devin. <laughs> That's a pretty nice police logo. It's a guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I love how, how, how the cops just have to have an obligatory, like, mustache. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> he be walking. Okay, you're you're gonna hear a bit of a bit of the the filmmaker in me. Um filmmaker Luna's coming out. <laughs> um I I Devin, I know you're out there somewhere, and if you aren't, I'm talking to myself, but just, I want to ramble about this. Um, in all these cinematics, like, in so many Minecraft cinematics, you just see, like, the same shot all the damn time, and it gets annoying. But, but in all of these cinematics so far, there have been, like, different camera angles, and I, like, love that. Like... I appreciate that so much. I appreciate you, you for doing this, Devin. Because, like, like, I can't even imagine just how long that took. <laughs> like, okay, that that's a cool shot. I like that. Yes, sir, Sergeant McMillan, sir. Everything squared away in the truck. Good. Cool it with the formalities. Y yes, sir. I swear, I swear I can, I can, I swear, I swear I can, like, vaguely, the guy on the left. I'm sorry, this is going to be. Cool everything, but... Yes, sir, Sergeant McMillan, sir. Everything squared away in the truck. Good. I can't for the life of me. Like, the voice sounds so familiar. Cool it with the formalities. Y yes, sir. <laughs> so, I'm guessing new recruit? Or something? Uh, sir? Is there any reason you're not out on patrol yet? It's cold, not rushing, but once we're out there, our very lives are on the line until we clock out. So, any downtime is appreciated. Got it? Right. Yes, sir. So season dude and guy who like just got here. Not just got here, but like he seems kinda new. So... Also, can I just appreciate that there's been, like, five different camera angles in, like, the past, like, ten seconds? Can I just, like, can I, can I just, I want to appreciate that. <laughs> Top ten heroes, right? Okay. You really don't know how to shut up, do you? <laughs> Guilty. Uh, <laughs> what about him? I don't know. I figured a grizzled veteran like yourself would have a few opinions on him. That's all. No, really, no. <laughs> They're what enables us to do our job. We the Quirkless are the unsung heroes of the people nowadays, at least. 
It can be a pretty thankless job. I'm aware, sir. But you've worked with all the big names in your time, right? Honor, Mustang. Aye, I've chattered with a few. But they're just normal folk like the rest of us at the end of the day. All in. <laughs> you youngins spend too much time idolizing the position rather than the ideology behind the title hero. Slay. We love you, sir. Good on you, sir. <laughs> what I would have done to become one. You are, you dumb arse. <laughs> you're, you're doing your part just keeping the peace. You're as exactly. much a hero as them. We just don't take the credit. I like... Listen, small thing, but I really like how we're getting the police is like the cops' perspective on all of this because they're still doing their job. Like the heroes exist, but the police also still exist. And I like how 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 not all um, like like they're not really they're like yeah they allow us to do our job so yeah. I mean they use their quirks and they're good at what they do and they allow us to better do our job so like. That's fine, but there's also that problem of like everyone at it, uh, um idolizes uh, the heroes, and then there's just the cops who are here also doing their jobs, who don't really get that. They don't really get the idolization that heroes do. I, I like that. I like that. I don't know if any of that made sense to anyone, but. In short, I, I really like that the, that the cops are getting their say in here. I, I also like how both of them, both of these two cops seem to have different ideas of of heroes. Like, it seems like the newer cop um, is like, I want that kind of recognition. Like, I kind of want that. And the older guy is just like, like, it sucks. But in the at the end of the day, the, the heroes help us do our jobs. So it's good that we're getting downtime. It's good that you know, we don't have to be out because, like, you know, they're doing their job and we're here, you know, if they need us and if, I, I don't, I'm going on to a big tangent there, but I really like that. This is, I like how this is the opening. I love how this is the opening. I know, I just... All units be advised, we have a 1035 villain activity with a hero responding. Need backup to receive your arrest on 104 Brook Street at the city cemetery. And like that, our peace is over. <laughs> Dispatch show three Adam thirteen responding to the ten thirty five over. So the police are more backup. That makes sense. Oh, time for time for cool music. Okay, this slaps. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what that say? Sorry. I want to read this. Monarch City Cemetery. Oh, why are there people here, bro? One, the song slaps. Two, Devin, you're still popping off, sir. <laughs> also, builders, you did a great job. Whoa, what was that shot? Hold up. Hold up, was that some camera movement? <laughs> Also, focus shift. We appreciate. Yeah, that that was freaking camera movement. That was some movement in the shot. We'd love to see it. Okay, can we just appreciate how much has gone into just the past three minutes, please? Can we take a moment, please? Thank you. Um, let's just take like one second. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Just seriously, like, I I have so much, like, respect for, for, for individuals who are able to freaking do this. Like, God. <laughs> I 
I'm starting to realize why this took so long. And it is so understandable. <laughs> Three Adam 13, sir. Officer McMullen and Greenhorn. Greenwald. <clears throat> <laughs> sir. Good timing, Sergeant. We have confirmation that the number two hero is apprehending our suspect as we speak. Are they just for show then? Greenhorn, sometimes it's necessary to have backup plans in case things don't go down other plan. So true. Luckily, there have been zero fatalities. Okay. I lie. The suspect in question is a bit of a goofy one. G goofy? What? Goofy how? <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Wait, wait, no, no, wait. <laughs> Are they just for show then? Greenhorn, sometimes it's necessary to have backup plans in case things don't go down other plan. Luckily, there have been zero fatalities. I won't lie. The suspect in question is a bit of a goofy. No, no, wait. Goofy. Goofy. <laughs> I woke up in a new Bugatti. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hello. What's that left? What is that? Okay. Number two hero. Number two hero. How does it feel to be left in my wake without any hope of catching me? I honestly feel extremely bad for you, Ronan. Oh, you have the unfortunate fate of meeting me. Okay, but voice actor eight. Voice actor ate the assignment. They're they ate their homework. They they ate it. <laughs> also, I love how the skin is like it seems like the skin's like partially made. Like it's made to look like the rush marks, you know, that you'd usually see in these kinds of things. That's that's nifty. That that was a cool little thing to make the illusion. This guy does not know how to shut up. That's most that's I most don't villains. care who you are. You vandalize numerous buildings and harass several civilians with your annoying antics. People when I'm talking about blood moon. <laughs> I don't know for what reason you insist on being a nuisance to the public. <laughs> I'm just a silly goofy guy. <laughs> What would you know about my reasons, you know? Do you really think you can take me down? It's my job, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yeah. What language is that? What language is that? Public. <laughs> what would you know about my reasons, you know? Do you really think you can take Is that... Is that Devin? Wait. It's my job, isn't it? I'm not gonna make any assumptions on the voice actors if I really don't know. Like... I'm gonna wait till I find out. <laughs> what language is that? <laughs> Polsky? Polish! Wait, we're going- You know, I, I feel like Devin over here is like, what other languages could we humanly fit into our series? Like, like, dude's like making it his mission to just put any and all possible languages into- into every series he's in, and I- and I love him for it. <laughs> Also, add that to the list of languages that that this man can 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 speak. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's doing over him. Wait, you are multicultural. <laughs> Wait, your <laughs> culture. <laughs> <laughs> also, animation. <laughs> wait, let's make a countdown. <laughs> Russian, wait, Polish Russian. <laughs> Korean. 
Japanese. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, what language don't you speak? None of your business. Yes! <laughs> that was like five if we count if we count English. If we count English, that's like five. <laughs> Come quietly or I'll be forced to restrain you. Okay, better. Restrain me? You can't even touch me! Can't touch this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Wait. None of no, I wanna watch that huh? again. Honestly, what Just collecting different po different languages like Pokemon cards and I don't know. Come quietly or That's I'll a cool ending. force to restrain you. Restrain me? You can't even touch me! Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> a masochist, I see. Not only are you an idiot, <laughs> you're also a <laughs> I feel bad for laughing at that. <laughs> but also, I appreciate. Was that at a, like individual? Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> Someone had to do texturing on that sword. <laughs> Masochist, I see. Not only are you an idiot, you're also a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> see? You can't hurt me at all. That's bloody now, too. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Love that. We appreciate hard work. <laughs> I knew you were dumb. Why are you. What is this feeling? Hey. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to. <laughs> okay, but like, why is why are they just a silly goofy guy? <laughs> why are they such a silly goofy guy? Like, I know, I know. Wait, no, you're you're. I know you're a villain, but like, you're so silly and goofy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I heard it before. You won't be able to use your quirk for a while. Just long enough <laughs> your for the law to be in revoked. solitary confinement in a cell built just to contain your quirk. No! The no. will shot. No! You can't do this to me! I'm your arch nemesis! I am Bimbo Winter! Yeah, yeah, it wasn't cool the first time you said it. Yes! Wait, let's just give a round of applause right about now for like six, almost fucking seven whole minutes of an, of, of, of like animated cinematic sequences. Let's go. Oh my god. That was so cool. That was so cool. Also, Ronan being cool. We appreciate characters being cool. We, we we give points to that too. <laughs> also, whoever 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 voiced Bimbo Winter, you uh, you ate the assignment. I appreciate your contribution to society. <laughs> just long enough for the law to put. Also, also this just showing how how just nonchalant Ronan is about hero work at this point, <laughs> like. Like, yeah, sure, we'll see about that. Everyone said this to me. Like I'm I'm just gonna like do my job. No. Like he's just been it just shows he's been doing this for a long time at this point. And and I like that this just showcases that. Because we have Fimble Winter who's like, yeah, this is like a big deal. And then there's Ronan who's sitting here, like, bruh, this is this is this is my this is my everyday, you know? Like I, I do this this is my routine at this point. And it also just shows how powerful Ronan is, too, and I like that. Like, he's the number two hero, you know? He can pull his weight. <laughs> Solitary confinement in a cell built just to contain your- Also, imagine how hard it is to, like, like, thinking about it? Like, how hard do you think it is 
for like the government to keep up and make like like for every single different every different person you have to make a completely unique containment it's like scp but like for heroes and villains like for every new person you get in you have to make a completely like different like containment method for each one of them and from how um rampant crimes getting i'm betting that's really hard to keep up with like you gotta give kudos to the government where it's due you know <laughs> no no you can't do this to me i'm your arch nemesis i am Bimbo winter yeah yeah it wasn't cool the first time you said it <laughs> ronan being cool also slay slay everyone ate everyone ate including the cops the two cops the two cops also ate ate that scene by the way um yeah well you know what? i might as well talk about it now um just going back to the whole i like how this all started off with the police um because this could have started off with just Ronan. Like, they didn't need to give that back and forth between the cops. Like, they really didn't have to do that. But they did. There's- because I think it's a bit, like I said, like, setting up the status quo of, like, this is the norm. There's no issue really there. Um, also, Ronan, once again, setting up his status quo. So we get a status quo for the police and a status quo for the heroes. This is their everyday. This is the police's everyday. Also, I like how including the police also kind of shows how they're connected. Like, if there's something going on with the police, there's going to be something going on with the heroes. If there's something going on with the heroes, there's going to be something going on with the police. And actually, that might kind of show how, like, like when Monarch goes missing, right, from, from the first villain episode, we hear from Ronan that there's a lot more crime going on. So the heroes, what's going on with the heroes, directly affects what's going on with the police because there's more crime to fight because Monarch's gone. Actually, it makes sense why the more seasoned police officer is more okay with it. Because, you know, they've probably seen shit, you know? They've been through things. They've, they're have they more than okay with the heroes doing their thing and preventing more catastrophe. Because they've seen what happens, you know? I don't know. I just really like that. I really like that. K kudos. Love that. Love that. I love how there's 37 whole minutes left. <laughs> wait. Actually, wait. Analysis time. <laughs> Let's go. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, same. Okay. This is where my my future self is gonna come in and put the two, two different cards together and just compare. You know. Oh, actually, um, bit of disclaimer. Um, some of the character cards I've seen. Um, I've tried my best not to look at some of the character cards because I want to kind of experience them naturally and kind of look more into them once I see them. So yeah, this one I have seen before though, um, but I haven't looked further into it, so yeah. Yeah! <laughs> the silly guy. Eric uses intangibility to, to face people and objects. I'm guessing Oh, it makes sense why they were at the cemetery now. That's like a freaking specter. That's so <laughs> winter camping and cookies. <laughs> oh, affiliation eternity. I knew the skin looked somewhat familiar. Cool. You haven't had the last of Emblewin. That's so stereotypical villain of you. I will have <laughs> <sighs> He's in your hands now. 
My quirk should keep him harmless for the next 12 hours at least. I did manage to- You know, Ronin was like- Ronin's so insanely OP as, like, a hero. It makes sense why they're number two. Because, like, like I said before, it must be really hard to, like, detain all these villains if they have their quirks and you have to figure out how their quirks work and, like, how to properly contain them. So, with Ronin there, it literally gives them a good few hours to, like, figure out how to properly contain the guy without having to deal with their quirk. Especially with a lot of the police force being mainly quirkless. So, like, it, like, with, I don't even know what would happen. Without Ronin there, it must have been insanely difficult to, like, actually properly contain these guys. Appreciate your service, number two. Big fan, by the way. Uh, put a sulk in it, kid. <laughs> have a great night, officers. Off into the great wide somewhere. Starstruck, Greenhorn? What? Uh, maybe a little bit. That was the number two hero, Ronin, in the flesh. Aww. So it's Greenwald. Uh, I damn well know your name, Greenhorn. <laughs> Stay in the force long enough and you'll get your fill of a lot of those heroes. Like I said, they're just people like you and I, rookie. That makes sense. It makes sense. They're just people in the end of the day. Let's go. We appreciate you, guy. I, I I have to make sure I remember your name. Come along. It's only the beginning of our shift, you know. Sir, yes, sir. Also, shout out to the camera angles. Shout out to the moving camera. <laughs> shout out to the time it probably took to do these. <laughs> It's Hollywood. <laughs> Sorry, that just immediately made me think of like Beverly Hills. <laughs> and intro time. Intro time. <laughs> so, like, Devin, your power, y your power scares me and intimidates me. But I very much appreciate it. Like, bruh, like, I can't even put, put into words, like, that was so cool. Like, you are literally a god, I swear. Okay, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put this out here. Um, So I don't think that's Ghost Whisper anymore. That's all I'll say. That's all I'm gonna say. I I don't I don't think that's Ghost Whisper anymore. The people who know, they know. <laughs> still confused about their eyes. I, I I still am confused about the eyes. The amount of work that must have went into just all of this, like. I'm still amazed. I'm still amazed and impressed by this man. <laughs> this sad. Oh my god, wait! I didn't notice that the first time! Is that... Database's mask? No, it has to be! Oh, I'm, I'm just realizing! Oh, you, you didn't make that, you didn't make that memory more vivid than the others. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, it's database. I didn't even notice that the first time. Yeah, let's go. Prior to the trailer. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, we get a different perspective. Cool. So I can so I can update what I've said in the past. Cool. Okay. Oh, that's why the sword looks. Ah, oh, wait. 
wait a minute, was there something I didn't catch? Wait, hold, hold up. There's prob- I probably didn't notice something. I- I most likely didn't notice a thing. Oh! Yeah, I didn't notice that at all. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out, sir! <laughs> also, I want to just add, this is a very pretty set. He's just standing there. <laughs> Once again, I ask, how long has he been standing there for? <laughs> oh, wait. So, so he's basically getting back from his hero work. I'm assuming. I'm assuming he's getting back from his hero work. I'm assuming? Either he's getting back from his hero work or this was like beforehand. I don't know. Uh, visitor. I mean, the shrine doesn't get that many nowadays. No, they don't really, do they? Not at all. Oh, is this- This is the same shrine as the intro, I think. So is this Database's shrine? I love how I'm probably saying that name wrong. It's probably Database. But I say Database. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> but, um, it's probably Database. So he goes here every day? Oh! Oh, that's sad. That's very sad. Sorry, you're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. What's up? Uh, that that's that's. I still can't get. A they were friends, Your Honor. They were friends. They were friends. That, that's fine. Things have uh, been the moving name, fast. The name's uh, the name's Shino Bosco. Shino. Right, right. They I get to witness the scene again. I'm not skipping. <laughs> from we get to see the chicken. Uh, taught you. No, all of this already. But uh, it's, it's a name I heard a while ago. You know, thinking about this, he probably just wants to move on with his day. Like, he probably just wants to be done with this. And then this kid, th th this guy, just, just comes up to him. He's like, hey, you know about this, like, very, like, very bad... <laughs> Like, top secret society that I totally didn't go snitching for. <laughs> but it, it's only in passing, this is only brief. Does the name Eternity ring any bells to you? Um. The, the chicken comes from Eternity. <laughs> Cold, Cold, Cold just sent a chicken. Uh, I'm done. What <laughs> do you know about that name, kid? So, what you're Ooh. telling me. A current top ten number two hero that you yep. dug through public police rep records mm -hmm. or private police records actually yep. to dig up mm -hmm. the name Eternity. Yep. And now you've come to me mm -hmm. to ask about it. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of bad when you put it that way, but and he's the one you want in your agency. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Listen. Eternity is... Eternity is dangerous. They... Now that Cole's in there, even more dangerous. <laughs> They've since been, well, gone quiet after a couple years back. And I guess now they've returned. Yeah, especially seeing as the guy you just took down is a member of Eternity. <laughs> Resurfaced. It's a dangerous organization. No one. No one. Not catch. more dangerous than Cole motherfucking Becker. <laughs> Anyone related to that name is less concerning. I, I, I'd hope for the best when they all went dark, but I guess that's just wishful thinking. Yeah. And, well, it's no surprise. With Becker, nothing dies. The low crime rates lately have been. Yeah, Cole doesn't believe in death. Hmm. And that's not yet public knowledge, so don't spout that off, kid. I didn't hear a single thing. Once again, telling this dude this, you know? Continue. Great. I just know... I love how he just, like, trusts that I won't say anything. 
Like, he trusts that I won't say anything. continue <laughs> sooner or later something's gonna happen something roll credits everybody 